Fact or fiction? My district already offers sexual health education, so I think we're meeting the requirements of this bill. Probably fact. Instruction in grades four through five will continue to be puberty and human growth and development, which most districts already provide. Students will need to get age-appropriate instruction on affirmative consent. For example, how to ask for a hug or respecting a no response. Any additional instruction in grades four and five will be up to districts. Many already offer lessons on healthy friendships, personal safety, and similar topics. We encourage parents to work with their district to communicate their concerns and preferences. If a secondary school in grades six through 12 is already offering sexual health education, very little will change. Districts need to ensure their instruction is comprehensive. The basics would be abstinence plus other forms of protection against disease and pregnancy, basic information about the reproductive system, healthy relationships, and affirmative consent, and consistent with the standards. The grade level outcomes in the health education K-12 learning stan standards will continue to be optional for districts and serve as guidance, but not as a directive.